So now we're going to put the iron in and scribe the profile on the iron. Now if you can see this, what we want to do is take a scratch all and trace this profile onto our iron on the face of the blade, not the back, but the face. You can also use a right angle tool to get in there and scribe that. You can kind of see how we're going to have to extend this out. That's our fillet and here's our little OG profile here. Here's the step and we'll have to continue that angle. We'll just hacksaw that off. Basically everything outside that line I'm going to cut away roughly. Okay, we've got a rough cut. Uh, I think I'll make the blade a little narrower. It only has to be as wide as a little wider than this step or this fillet right here and the blades coming way out to the edge here so I'll probably cut it to about this width here. Okay you can see my scribe line is well past the fillet so I'm going to hacksaw it parallel to the other side of the tang. So that steel's ready. Well, next step is we're going to go to the grinders. We're going to start grinding our steel. We're going to basically grind to our line and then once we get things rough ground we're going to uh, have to fit it back in the plane body and grind and fit, grind and fit. It's a little tedious process but uh, You might notice this steel is getting hot. We're getting a lot of bluing, which is a big sin in woodworking. But we're not worried about it. This steel is soft. It won't get any softer. But the big thing is, I want to. It's getting too hot to hold. So I got a little bucket of water over here. I like to cool my steel off so I can hold it. You also notice that on this steel, there's a big hairy burr on there. And as you grind, when you get close, you got to lay that burr back so it doesn't obstruct your view when you put it back in the plane. And we got a rough grind there to the line. Now we'll start fitting it in our plane and checking the projection. Okay, we did our rough grind 
And you can see in this area, we're really, really fat. We need to clean that up. We're heavy on this side too of the fillet, but we'll take that down last. So we're going to go in and try and grind this lobe off and make this valley a little bit bigger. Now I want you to pay attention on how I grind around the profiles. Start in the 6 o'clock position on the high point of the lobe and you rotate the tang out this way to go down that side. And on the opposite side of the lobe you tilt the tang the other way like in the 5 o'clock position. Drop down into the valley. Return to the 6 o'clock position. And then sweep the tang over to the left around the 7 o'clock position and try not to wipe out try not to wipe out that little point right there then the side grind is the trickiest one to do so Pay attention to the grind lines, how they work around that profile. They're not just straight down the whole way. I'm very, very close. I've ground a little too much here, but I get an even projection through, through here pretty much. So um, I'm about ready to go to the heat treat stage, but I want to do some touch up on here. Just try to get a uniform color. Now take it out to the cutting edge. There, that's what we want. There, we'll let that cool. We'll pop it in our oven for an hour. We'll take it out. It'll have a light straw color to it. And we'll put it, clean it on the surface plate, and then we'll do our final grind.